Welcome to the next section of filtering attributes. In this section, we'll be seeing how to filter attributes, how to discretize attributes, and how to do attribute selection. So in filtering attributes, we actually want to remove certain attributes from our data set. For doing this, we'll be using a remove class from an unsupervised filter package, and we'll be using an attribute called dash R. In the coming videos, we'll be using discretization and binning. So let's quickly come down to the code and see what happens. What I'm doing is first I'm importing certain packages. So this is the first package that we'll be importing from the core package, vkar.core package. We'll be using an instance class from vkar.core.converters. We'll be using a saver class from java.io. We'll be using a file class and from Vekar.core.converters.converterutils will be using a data source class. This we have been using in the previous section also. This will be taking the database into memory and working with database with the data set in the memory. Half saver will help us in saving our data set into the disk. File will give the name of to the disk. Data source will first open the data set from the disk. Filter is a new class that we'll be using in this video where we have a filter vika.filters package in the filter class we will be applying filter and the filters that we will be applying would be an unsupervised filter from unsupervised dot attribute we will be filtering certain attributes so first we will take the R file into our data source object once we have done this we will take this into memory using an instance object dt now we will create a string object where we will put all the options that we want to do for filtering our attribute since you want to remove an attribute we'll say dash r and we'll put a number to which attribute that we wish to delete then we'll create an object for remove class and then we'll set the options for remove class using our string object and we'll also put the input format onto which data set it should be done then we'll create a new instance new data set and we'll apply filter dot use filter and we'll provide the data set onto which this filter should be provided and the options and the remove object will feature remove our data set using the filters or the options that we have set. Once we have done this, we'll create an object for half saver. Then we'll assign the new data set, the ND to this half saver object. And then we'll provide a name to this half saver for object. And then finally we'll write it onto the disk using write patch. Let's try and run this and see what happens. The build is successful. Let's see on the hard disk what has happened. I have removed the temperature attribute from my new data set fw.r file. Suppose if I want to remove multiple attributes from my file, then I'll use a dash operator. So it will remove the attributes from 2 to 3. If I'll use 2 to 4, then it will remove the attributes from 2 to 4 from my data set. Let's try and run this. So these are the attributes that we have and this is the filters filtered attribute so we have removed the second attribute the third attribute and the fourth attribute we have left with the first and the last attribute only so this is how we'll apply filtering onto our data set